I've been fortunate to do it twice with the uh, just about the same group of guys, man. That's why I call this place in Kansas City my home. That's why I call, you know, a lot of people in this building my family. Great for the city. Our fans were unbelievable. I'm proud of all of them, man. They, they did a great job. So, anyways, with that, time's yours. Andy Reid has walked this walk 181 times as head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, as far as uh, the injuries go, as far as the injuries go, as far as the injuries go, it's the time when this coach of few words utters his most famous phrase. Uh, time's yours. Time's yours. Time's yours. Time's yours. Time's yours. In KC, he's faced the media 19 times in the playoffs. Right. Where's the trophy? Man. <laughs> in 2020, for the first time, he took questions as the head coach of a Super Bowl champion. All right. I have no injuries. Three years later, it was Andy Reid's time again. And Andy Reid has won two Lombardi trophies as head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. I always believe in me, <laughs> This is the story of how Reid and his staff led the Chiefs back to the top. For that time, George. For Andy Reid and his coaches, the two years after their first Super Bowl win were heartbreaking. The Buccaneers have beaten the defending champion Chiefs. The Cincinnati Bengals have just knocked off the Kansas City Chiefs in overtime to advance to the Super Bowl. Every team undergoes changes after its season concludes, but for Kansas City's front office, the 2022 offseason brought major upheaval. The Chiefs' biggest offensive weapon is leaving Kansas City for Miami. The Dolphins acquiring Tyreek Hill on Wednesday in exchange for five draft picks. The Chiefs got worse. There's no way around it. Certainly, they're going to make moves to try to make up ground here. But losing that magic, that dynamism between Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill is a blow to that offense, and it changes the shape of that division. The mind just starts going a million miles an hour. All right, how are we going to get all the things Tyreek gave us with different people. We had a lot of work to do in the offseason, and that's not just to replace talent, but it was to replace the, the leadership in the locker room. Kansas City lost a good measure of their locker room leadership when veteran safety Tyron Matthew left in free agency. Hey, make your mind up who you want to be. Yes, Either you want to be great or you want to be average. Yes, sir. Make your mind up today. First of all, losing was like losing a son. Uh, he was a son to me, he still is. A lot of love for Tyron. I smile every time I see you, man. I'm Listen, he was the emotional leader, and it was a big void to fill. I don't think it could be filled with, by one person. Adding leadership was one priority. Getting younger and faster in the secondary was another. The Chiefs addressed both in the 2022 NFL Draft. The Kansas City Chiefs select Trent McDuffie, Brian Cook, Joshua Williams, Jalen Watson, Nazee Johnson. I'm going into my 27th year, and I've never been in a defensive back room where I was able to actually draft five defensive backs in one particular season. I remember telling them, you know what, I named you guys the Fab Five. And a couple of guys don't even, they didn't know what I was talking about, and so I had to give them a little history. The Fab Five were one of the best college basketball recruiting classes of all time. As freshmen, they took the University of Michigan to the 1991 NCAA championship game. The Chiefs' Fab Five were nowhere near as celebrated. You're doing good, man. You just keep rolling. Stacking days. This is good for you. That's right, stacking days. This is good, though, for you. You just keep pushing through. You get a little tired, push through. Even though we had a lot of change, uh, we still felt like you know, we were the best in the AFC West, and we liked our chances. To return to the Super Bowl, 
Andy Reid and his staff would need to figure out how to best use all of their new pieces. It would take one of the most masterful coaching jobs of their careers. It's the final game, folks. This one wins the series. Struck out with the cheap seats? Important things aren't worth compromising. At Farmers, we offer both quality insurance and great savings. Here, take mine. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. My character, Shazam, knows all about growing up in a family full of teenage superheroes. They're bold. Where's everyone going? To fight crime. Okay. Adventurous. Shazam! There's never a dull moment. And no matter what happens, they'll always have your back. All they need is a place to grow and be themselves. And the best part is, you don't have to be a superhero to adopt a teen. Learn more about adopting a teen from foster care. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. You can't imagine the reward. Give me a hot pink cosmopolitan and some drama. Give me a kettle white soda. With a twist. Give me an early morning tea time and a Bloody Mary with kettle one vodka. Give me a cocktail with kettle one vodka. It's how you fire up the team. Kingsford. It's how you do it. Catch it all on NFL Plus. Stream live local and primetime games on mobile. Watch live highlights every Sunday afternoon during the regular season. Start streaming NFL Plus today. Plans start at $6.99. ¿Dónde es más conveniente conseguir esa gran energía? En Planet Fitness. Hasta el 13 de septiembre, inscríbete por solo un dólar de cuota inicial y 10 dólares al mes. Con más de 2,400 clubes y equipo para cada rutina de ejercicio, puedes entrar, llenarte de energía y ponerte en marcha. Y la zona libre de críticas abre todo el día, toda la semana, con entrenamiento físico gratuito. Así que inscríbete hoy por un dólar de cuota inicial, 10 dólares al mes, sin compromiso. Cancela cuando quieras. La oferta termina el miércoles 13 de septiembre. Así es como lo hacemos. This is not the first all-electric car. That's because no BMW sees the road until it's reached the ultimate standard, our own. A standard that demands that every BMW drives and feels exactly like a BMW should. Unparalleled performance and precision handling made possible by electric engineering. But isn't that what you'd expect from the ultimate electric driving machine? Take advantage of exceptional lease and finance offers today. We all know Andy Reid is one of the most respected figures in the game. But what we don't know is how he's been able to sustain greatness for so long. He's never extremely high, he's never extremely low. You know, it can get intense, and yet he's always cool and calm and rock solid. We just keep rolling, we do what we do. That's right. We do what we do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's one of the greatest teachers I've ever been around in, in anything. Just has an amazing way of reaching people. Juju, fast, huh? Fast, fast. You move faster on your TikTok tapes. Another reason is a belief that every coach's ideas matter. One way Reed fosters a collaborative environment is with a simple tool he's used for years, the beautiful mind board. I have a whiteboard in my office. I'll start on it, and then everybody adds their, their piece to it. Coach Reed allows you to, like, think outside the box and just be wild and crazy. We throw them up there and see what sticks. You can't space them out. You just got to overlap them and draw on top of each other. That's why we got, like, 17 different color markers so you can sort it. Sometimes you steal circles from other formation to use in yours and different route lines, but each coach is seeing how we can attack this defense in different ways. By the end of the week, it's full of good ideas. There's no way you can get all those plays in the game plan, but on Friday, I'll take a picture of it and file it away. The coaching staff also work together to solve a hard question. How to generate explosive plays without Tyreek Hill? A 64-yard touchdown to Tyreek Hill! On, the answer was to use a traditional offensive tactic, motion, unlike any other team. Credit to Coach Reed and the rest of the coaches on staff for being able to incorporate some different styles and be creative with those motions. 
coach always talks about trying to make the other teams and the defenses chase the cat's tail. Some of the window dressing on those things makes it challenging and creates problems. Look at this. <laughs> I've never go, seen go, that go, go. before in my life. Let's try to get into all these different motions with different tempos, different speeds, different looks before the snap that they haven't seen. Now maybe they're moving a step slower. And mentally, now they're questioning everything that they went into the week anticipating, and you got that slight edge. No team averaged more passing yards per game off targets in motion than Kansas City. And no player did more damage by a motion than Travis Kelsey. Slide Travis Kelsey across the formation, using the defense's aggressiveness against him. Coach Reed does an unbelievable job of just finding ways to attack defenses week in, week out, to just always keep them in a reactionary position. The guy's a guru when it comes to being able to get anybody open. He could draw up a play to get my dad a first down in the National Football League. Great drive! They can't stop us, baby. Let's go. While the offense found its footing quickly, it took the defense longer to get up to speed because of its inexperienced secondary. There are mistakes. I mean, there are things that, you know, things that you just go, whoa, man. The busted coverage for the Chiefs. George Kittle got free. But we never gave up on them. We knew we were going to need them. That faith was rewarded. Shotgun. Herbert sets. Throws. Intercepted. Running down that left side. It's Watson. Watson in midfield. Watson is going to go all the way. Kansas City. Touchdown. 99 yards. The seventh row pick. It's a pick. Six. The Chiefs have their first lead of the night. Watson at the left corner was in a position where as they started to run like a little quick switch route. And Jalen had paid attention at practice, understanding that any throws in the front of the end zone is probably going to be thrown low and inside. And so Watson was able to slide off and come around the tight end and made a phenomenal play that sealed the game. Jalen, I think his confidence built way up when he had that interception for a touchdown. I think it was huge for him, uh, for the whole secondary as a whole. You started to say to yourself, okay, if we can keep the techniques as simple as I can as far as teaching them, um, these guys could help us out. And then they started gelling and they never looked back. The maturation of the Fab Five was critical. When you have the game's highest scoring offense, the opposition is usually playing from behind, forcing them to throw more frequently. Coach Spagnolo countered this barrage by getting creative with his dime personnel. We saw that we could move Justin Reed down and be able to help us as a linebacker in the run fits, as well as to help us as a cover guy on elite tight ends. With Jay Reed going to the dime, we brought in safety, Brian Cook, to play linebacker as well as play the middle read for us in our cover two. With Justin Reed and Brian Cook stepping in in those two positions, along with the nickel in the two corners and Juan Thornhill, the other safety, it allowed us to put more DBs on the field to be able to help us versus any passing situation. By season's end, the dime became the Chiefs' most effective and versatile defensive grouping. We get the dime. You don't know what you're going to get from Coach Spags. He does a great job of mixing it up. We could be bringing overload pressure. They're coming at the line. Time to throw. Strong safety coming, maybe the corner coming. Trent McDuffie on a corner blitz. Hack the arm of Russell Wilson to get it out. Kansas City has it on the near side. We always say our rush and coverage go hand in hand, so our coverage guys in the back end did a great job locking guys down. When that happens, usually you get there. Kansas City finished second in the league in sacks. 12 and a half of Chris Jones' team leading 15 and a half came in the dime package. Despite a revamped receiving core and a bevy of rookie defenders, the Chiefs won their seventh straight division title, defying the naysayers. I thought they did a great job with all these young guys teaching, being patient with them, all those things. They just nurtured them along, just kept growing and growing. Our head coach is steady. 
Our coaching staff is steady. I think the players see that. They feed off of that. And because the coaches never panic, I don't think the players ever panic. And that makes a huge difference. In this market, you'll find Fisher Investments is different than other money managers. Different how? Aren't we all just looking for the hottest stocks? Nope. We use diversified strategies to position our clients' portfolios for their long-term goals. But you still sell investments that generate high commissions for you, right? No, we don't sell commission products. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our clients' best interest. So when do you make more money? Only when your clients make more money? Yep. We do better when our clients do better. At Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. At Simply Safe, your safety is the only thing that matters. Introducing 24/7 lifeguard protection, only from Simply Safe. This exclusive technology allows Simply Safe agents to help stop crime in real time by speaking through the new smart alarm indoor camera. Stop. This is Simply Safe. Police are on their way. For instant intruder deterrence and faster police response. Police have arrived. Your home is safe. Advanced home security, 24/7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Kind of like being a father in this world. Ooh, that's a lovely view. <laughs> what are you two looking at? Tick pick. What did you say? Tick pick. Tickets to the show with no hidden fees. It's about to be a party in here. BetMGM's got all the sports betting in one place. And it's live, baby. Ooh. We're placing money lines in real time. We got second half spreads and third set winners as they happen. Overs hitting in extra innings. Live is where the action is at. Can we got these people a promo? There it is. The long-lasting scent of Gain Flings made it smell like Dave was in his happy place. The massage chair at the mall. But he wasn't. Gain Flings with OxyBoost and Febreze. It's official. Caleb Williams is transferring. My man. Yeah. To Wendy's for the new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Everybody say nacho! Nacho! It's melty, what? it's crunchy, and it's queso -y. Yeah. Easiest choice I've ever made. Of course, he's not the only one transferring. hey -o. Steph has got room for two quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. Sorry, and who are you? Matt Leiner. Quarterback? National champion? Afraid that doesn't ring a bell. For the full nacho experience from all four sides. Squares the beat. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Families affected by disasters urgently need support. Help the American Red Cross provide help and hope to those affected by disasters big and small. Please donate to Red Cross Disaster Relief. Metro! Attention all students. Today, I'm calling on the trendsetters and the underdogs. The ones that were told they were too much, too small, too loud, or not loud enough. In this game, there's a position for everybody. We run and we throw. We jump and we fly. This game right here is our game. One, two, three. It is the divisional playoff round between the Chiefs and the Jaguars. Andy Reid, if he wins today, will be historic. He'll have 10 wins with two different franchises in the postseason. That's never been done. For Andy Reid to make history, he and his staff needed to beat the upstart Jags. During KC's regular season win over Jacksonville, Patrick Mahomes had barely been touched. This time, he wasn't so lucky. Oh my goodness, Mahomes is hurt. Time to think other than you gotta have the answer. I'm not one that just falls apart on those kind of things and says it's over. I mean, that's not how this business works. I wasn't real excited, but I feel for the kid. It was almost like everything went slow motion for me. It's definitely scary. I mean, you work all that time to get to that point, and there you are early in the game, and your MVP star player and the leader of your team is injured. Almost everything kind of comes to a stop. He is going to the sideline limping big time. There's a lot of players in different sports that'll tell you, no, I want to go back in, and then and 
sometimes they don't necessarily mean it. They just want you to think that. Then there's ones like Pat that come in and they say, you know, I'm not coming out. I'm good. I'm good. He said, well, how are you doing? <laughs> I thought he needed to get it checked out. He wasn't buying all of that. No, I'll do the halftime. I'm good. No way. Patrick Mahomes just went down into the locker room after coaches convinced him to do so. With the NFL's MVP sidelined, the Chiefs turned to their 37-year-old veteran backup quarterback, Chad Henney. We all have confidence in him. He's been doing it a long time. He's thrown a few passes, so uh, this wasn't going to be any different. And that's just the trust we had in Chad. This wasn't Henney's first playoff relief appearance. In the 2020 AFC Divisional Round, Henney stepped in for an injured Mahomes and sealed the win. Now what do you do? It'll be fourth and a foot. Henney rolling out, throws it. Hell! And the Chiefs are heading to the AFC Championship game. Only Andy Reid gets it shot on a fourth and an inch. And throws the ball with his back on the quarterback. We knew that he was able to do it, uh, but it was a, a big task getting the ball on the two-yard line and having to drive the length of the field. I'll always remember it for all my life, the play call that Coach gave right away just to get an easy completion and show trust in Chad. And he's three yards deep in the end zone to take this snap. Chad Henney will throw from his own end zone. Comes to Kelsey at the near side. You see what Andy Reid did? Let him throw on first down right out of the end zone. Showing confidence in his guy. Seven plays later, Henney and the Chiefs faced a critical third down and three. McKinnon in motion. There's the shotgun step to Kenny. He was drilled as he threw, and it's caught by Kelsey at the 40. For him to put it on the spot in a tight window, that's Chad, and a smart guy. He got it to Kelsey. It's third and three, and he understands that a lot of teams like to bring pressure, and the way that they brought their pressure there, that free rusher was going to be on the quarterback. A lot of guys will sometimes try to move their feet to get a throwing lane or try not to take that hit, not him. He stayed in the pocket, threw a plant-footed throw with accuracy and took a great hit to the chest and head. See your guy that steps in in that moment, sacrifice his body to make that throw on a critical down and distance, it just kind of, it gets everybody going just a little bit more. Anything is possible. The unflappable vet completed five of seven passes. The last to Travis Kelsey capped a 98-yard drive, longest in Chiefs postseason history. And Kelsey in the end zone for another touchdown. I had goosebumps after we scored the touchdown. He really kept our season alive. Henny's heroics helped keep Andy Reid's team in front. When Patrick Mahomes returned after halftime, his magic put the Chiefs ahead to stay. 7.22 to go in the game. McKinnon sprints in motion to the near flat. Mahomes now steps up in the pocket, throws right wide open, back of the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. And Mahomes, a gutsy jump pass off a bad angle to Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Play-wise, you can see we put the back in a skip motion where he's able to get that middle linebacker vacated from the middle, but you look at Pat there and you know, okay, he's going to probably try to get the ball to Kelsey, and they were trying to take Kelsey away. He looked for Kelsey. It wasn't there. He steps up in the pocket and basically all arm makes an amazing throw with great accuracy for a huge touchdown in the game. This was one of my favorite plays of the whole season because... We always say Quez's route is available and it's open. In this particular concept, in the three years that we've been running it, we've never thrown it to Quez. Quez is matched up against their best man defender and man to man, and he gave him a little move outside, one inside, and then I think he just wanted to remind Pat that somebody's open and it was him in the back. That route hadn't been thrown until that one. It was a good time for it. This game's not over, it's a two possession game. If you give up a score, they get an outside kick, right? Play your ass off. It's about four minutes and a little bit more left in the game. We're up by 10. It was a defense we had put in that week. It was a zone pressure, and we were hoping to put a little bit of pressure on the quarterback, and we did. He's playing a lot of rookies down the second. Here comes a blitz, and a right side throw is going to be intercepted. Jalen Watson, his biggest play since the 99 yard pick six against the Chargers. 
On the game-clinching pick, Spagnolo deployed his dime package and blitzed safety Justin Reed. The pressure forced a premature pass by Trevor Lawrence that rookie Jalen Watson was ready for. It is the scheming of Steve Spagnolo that got the interception for Jalen Watson. But it's victory for the Kansas City Chiefs, and Andy Reid makes history. There's nothing better than having two tough quarterbacks. One is great, and then two is even greater. Great job. Yes, sir. Chad Hitty, great job. Yeah. All right, let's get one chief here, baby. How about those cheese? Thursday night football is back on prime. To the end, zero touchdown. Woo! With the games you can't miss. How about this guy? What a catch. The voices you know. Fires it. Caught. This is unbelievable. And a party before and after every game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Thursday night football. Begins September 14th with the Vikings and Eagles. Only on Prime. You're really making all of this by hand. Oh, yeah. The avocados are hand mashed, the chips are hand tossed, and everything is made fresh. You make it fresh every day? Yes, every day. The Chipotle way is we make it fresh every day. Sounds delicious. USAA, uh -huh. you were in the military? No, my grandpa was. He passed membership to my mom, then me. Huh. Yeah, if your spouse, parent, or grandparent served, they could pass it to you. I'll check it out. USAA, for the military community and their families. After you joined our family, it was like, I really do feel complete now. If you watch football on TV, you need Fubo TV. Get NFL coverage, plus NFL Red Zone, on the only live TV streaming service rated number one in customer satisfaction by J.D. Power. Try free at FuboTV.com. You inspire the Lexus ES to be, well, more you. So thank you. We hope you like your work. My biggest fear in the middle of my addiction was that I would never be able to get over it and that my kids wouldn't have a father. I started thinking, you know what? This isn't my story. For the longest time, fear held me back from ultimately being who I wanted to. I had to become a better man to be a better father. It's important to me that my kids are empowered and truly believe that if, if they can think it, they can do it. You're not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are in the right seats for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Football is back, and our game day crew gets you ready for every week one matchup. Let's get this party started. And Kenny Pickett reveals the keys to his sophomore season. What a catch! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! NFL game day morning, Sunday at 9 on NFL Network. We're all here for football. Do not adjust your sets. We love that you're here with us. There ain't nobody gonna stop us. We're talking about those epic matchups. Quarterback duel for the ages. And instant classics. One of the best football games anyone had ever seen. The Jaguars have won it! Sunday morning breakdowns. Yeah. This guy is as tough as they come. Big play after big play. This guy's been incredible. And all the inside loadout. We're going to go out there and play football the way it's supposed to be played. I'm going to do whatever i got to do to help us win. Their lives have been changed, and I'm just so happy to have been a part of this. Your team. Every time that ball comes your way, make your play. Our team. I think he's a guy that you want in your lineup. You don't. Ooh, Every team. Tight Tight. If it happens in this league. Go answer the call, baby. Huh? We're all here for it. Wait till you see this. Oh, my goodness. NFL Network. We're here for football. For the second straight year, it's Cincinnati and Kansas City for the AFC Championship. Kansas City had waited all season for this moment. After last year's loss to Cincy in the title game, the Chiefs wanted one thing, revenge. This one's us. It's ours. This one's for us. 
getting that vengeance would be more difficult than expected. We got a cheap player down, and that is a luxurious Sneed has had oh. a really good season for them. Never in a million years I could have imagined that LJ Sneed was going to go out after three or four plays. Joshua Williams replaces Sneed. And that we were going to have two rookie corners, a rookie nickel, a rookie safety on the back end playing the AFC Championship game. But the Fab Five stepped up. The fact that they were prepared during the week allowed us to go forth and not change a thing. Burrow will throw it late in the pass. It's going to be broken up. And Cincinnati's got to punt the football. Another three and out. Let's go. Let's go. The December game. We didn't rush the passer really well like we had been doing. So we really had to get after Joe Burrow. Steps up. They're getting pressure. I thought our guys did a great job from the back end. Moving forward, we had really good coverage. Burrow pressured in the pocket. He sacked. Swallowed up. Back at the 34-yard line. And the first five times Joe dropped back, he sacked him three times. For the defense to step up the way we did there, it was tremendous. I mean, Chris Jones just played out of his mind. Wrapped up and taken down. Chris Jones. The alignment right here by Steve Spagnuolo. This is genius. As soon as he puts 32 Bolton in there, the center has to stay straight. And that allows Chris Jones to get a one-on-one -on -one against Sharping, who's a backup. This is the design what makes great coordinators. How do you get your best player one-on-one? -on -one? Let's go, A7. Come on, Let's get it, baby. Come on. Let's go. Greatness, fellas. Greatness. Greatness. Let's go. Without injured receivers McCole Hardman, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Kadarius Toney, Kansas City was also having problems generating offense. Next man up, huh? Next man up, huh? Juice it up, huh? Juice it up. The burden fell on free agent acquisition Marquez Valdez-Scantling to deliver in their absence. Huge play here, third down and 10 in a tie game. Mahomes looking left, now scrambling. Mahomes will fire it late for the end zone, caught! Marquez Valdez-Scantling, touchdown! Let's go! Quez's touchdown, he was the last read in the progression. Oftentimes, the ball doesn't get to that route, but we always say that guy stays alive as he's done most of the year, regardless of where he fits in in the progression, he's running it one-on-one -on -one to beat his defender. He beat his defender, put his arm out. Same thing that he did a week before. Pat was stepping up, trying to make a play, and he saw Quez's arm and put it right on the spot. The Chiefs had late-game leads against Cincy before, only to see victory slip through their grasp in the end. Armed with the knowledge from those defeats, the coaches were confident that they had the right plan in place to finally ensure victory. Football season is back. And with the Caesar Sportsbook app, you can be in the game all the time. Seeking instant action? Quick Picks offers you the most popular games and markets already built for you and ready to bet. Experience the thrill when you stack your bets to create a super parlay. Build bets for your favorite teams and players across multiple games. This season, don't just watch the game. Download Caesars Sportsbook and experience the game like never before. I'm an actor in an ad that was given 12 seconds to remind you that if you're high, just don't drive. Because if you feel different, you drive different. It's illegal to drive high everywhere anyway. I've always been one of the most athletic ones on my team, but in my second year, having drops and things like that, I realized natural talent is not enough. It's always work ethic. No matter where you're headed, with the right view, the right co-captains, Stunning American design and craftsmanship. You might not care if you ever get back. When prices and appliances click, you can't help but add to cart. Shop the latest innovations from top brands and go from click 
to clean you, just like that. Save up to $700 on select appliances, like this LG laundry set. My character, Shazam, knows all about growing up in a family full of teenage superheroes. They're bold. Shazam! Brave. Never a dull moment. But you don't have to be a superhero to adopt a team from foster care. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. You can't imagine the reward. The call is back. Let's get it! The building is rocking! It's an NFL fantasy world, and we just live for it. It's free and easy to play. Optimize your lineup with one click and watch exclusive player stories. Download the NFL Fantasy app today. At Spectrum, we know how much you depend on the reliability of our products and services. Now, we've taken a new step forward in reliability by identifying potential service issues before they become a problem. If you're affected, we'll contact you and help schedule a free service appointment with one of our expert technicians. The proactive maintenance of our network is one of the many reasons Spectrum delivers the most reliable internet speeds in the nation. Spectrum, keeping you connected. There's more hot deals at Apple Tree Superstore. Catch the summer sales event before these deals cool off. Lease or finance with Honda and get $12.50 towards a new 2023 Ridgeline with rates as low as 0.9%. Or get 2.9% financing on a new 23 Accord sedan and 3.9% financing on a new 23 CRV. The hottest deals are at Apple Tree Superstore, I-26 and Airport Road, Asheville. The three prior matchups between the Bengals and Chiefs had all been nail biters. The 2022 AFC Championship was also turning into an edge of your seat affair. You're gonna have to go right back out there. Play with your eyes, play with your mind. Make sure you don't go chase plays. Everybody follow me on that. Let the game come to you. Let's go, DB, stay locked in. The specter of another late game loss to Cincy loomed. A pair of rookie DBs were determined to prevent it from happening again. Bengals third and three at their own 36. 20 to 20 tie. Burrow holding the ball in his hand. He's going to throw it long. Coming down near side T. Higgins, it's knocked away and intercepted. Ah! Intercepted by Joshua Williams. Brian Cook tipped the pass intended for T. Higgins. Excellent coverage. Joshua Williams in the right place, right time. Look how about this rookie class? It wasn't a double call on, on Higgins, but it was actually a quarters cover two. And Brian bit a slant route and then was able to recover and run with Higgins down the field while Joshua Williams is trying to close outside in. But the fact that Cook had the wherewithal to be able to throw his hands up and knock the ball and tip it right into Joshua Williams' hand was phenomenal. Everything's on the line. Someone's got to figure out how to step up. And right there, Cook, he was ready for it. Hey, Josh. Good job. Ready to beat baby. Go again. Ready to beat baby. Go again. Go again. Go again. On Cincinnati's next possession, Coach Spagnolo deployed the dime again on a critical third and eight. Cincinnati from its own 35-yard line. Shotgun. Burrow looking to his right. Burrow in trouble, and he is sacked by Chris Jones. That was Chris being smart. He kind of switched with Carlos, put himself outside, which we give him the liberty to do. Well, every once in a while, Chris Jones will wind up at the defensive end. That means Adenogy's one-on-one, -on -one, a little bit of a shake, and then powers the upfield shoulder, turns the corner, and what a pass rush by a big man. The funny backstory on that one is we break the huddle, and Chris decided he wanted to go and line up outside, and Carlos was the left end on the down, and Carlos didn't want to go inside. And so the two of them are kind of beefing at each other about who's aligning inside or outside. I'm saying to myself, this is not happening right now. Finally, Carlos just jumps down. Chris barely gets lined up as the ball's getting snapped and then just powers the tackle for the sack. Sometimes things don't play out the way a coach draws them up. 
Kansas City didn't think it would have to call on rookie Sky Moore to field the biggest punt of the season until all three of its kick returners were lost to injury. He didn't return in college. We tried to turn him into a returner. You know, he started off good, had a little blip during the season, had a couple muffs. Moore fumbles it. Sky Moore fumbles it, and the 49ers have it. His second fumble punt of this season. He was under fire. I was under fire. It came to a point where, for his own good, we needed to get him out of there. You don't want to give up on a guy. I'm a coach. I'm going to try to get the guy better. Work it, work it, work it. He was practicing hard, got a lot better. Good rep, good rep. So that's why we felt good, you know, being able to put him back in there in that game. Sky Moore is back there deep. He muffed three punts early in the season. Lost the job on the return game. Line drive punt. Very returnable, taken by Sky Moore at the 20. Once a right return, Sky Moore at the edge, 35. Sky Moore, 40, up the sideline and near midfield. Big return for Sky Moore. Now the Chiefs are in great position to try to set up for a field goal. I was just so proud of them. And the whole team felt it because they knew, you know, and I'm getting emotional now just talking about it, but that the whole team knew how much pressure he had on him before. And to see this redemption story, I mean, that's, that's what makes coaching so special. Moments earlier, rookies Brian Cook and Josh Williams combined for a critical interception. Now it was their blocking that was pivotal to the success of the punt return. A lot of guys, they don't play special teams in college. They come in and you ask them to cover kicks and block and do things that they haven't done. These guys came in and, and accepted the role and worked hard and became great four-phase players for us. Eight seconds to go in regulation. Harrison Butker, the biggest kick of his Chiefs life. 45-yard attempt from the far hash. Placement is down. Butker's kick is up. The spinning kick high, floating in the air, and it is gone! Gone! This game is over! Because we were playing Cincinnati, who had robbed us of the opportunity to go to the Super Bowl the year before, so it was great to, to come out on top. You talk about the Super Bowl wins, which are great. But there's nothing like winning a, a championship at your home against, you know, your arch nemesis. Having that opportunity to finally win one was big. The grandkids, they don't care if things went good, bad. They're going to love on Gramps. That's always awesome. Hey, in case you didn't know, just in case, we're going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. in-store and curbside pickup, or even same-day delivery from your locally owned neighborhood Ace. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome. Pre-diabetes does. One in three adults has pre-diabetes, but with early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. And you can change the outcome. Take the one-minute pre-diabetes risk test today. Go to doihaveprediabetes.org. The world never stops moving, growing, evolving. It demands energy that evolves with it. Meeting this challenge will take more than one solution and more than a little time. It's the work that makes progress possible. Work that drives us, inspires us to deliver the energy we need today while forging new paths to the future in ways that are affordable, reliable, and ever cleaner. That's energy in progress. Oh, it's about to be a party in here. BetMGM's got all the sports betting in one place. And it's live, baby. We're placing money lines in real time. 
We got second half spreads and third set winners as they happen. Overs hitting in extra innings. Live is where the action is at. Can we get these people a promo? There it is. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser powers through tough messes. So it makes it look like I spent hours cleaning. And you know I didn't. It makes my running shoe look like new. It's amazing. It's so good. It makes it look like I have magical powers. Magic Eraser and Sheets make cleaning look easy. Okay, we need something juicy for mid-season. I think for my next celebration, I'll ride a Bengal tiger. Can somebody procure me a Bengal tiger? I got a guy. My man. What if we replace the gritty with the sexy? Dexy. Sexy. Dexy. Come on, people. What if we ban sex? Woo! Talk to me, no shirt. What if I got a ring to match this ice? Speaking of Super Bowl, let's skip to the last page. I've taken the liberty of writing something spectacular. Oh. Oh. You can't make this stuff up. Season 104! Tonight in Glendale, Arizona, Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles in the desert for the Lombardi Trophy in Super Bowl 57. I love it, big guy. I love, I love, I love every bit of that speech you gave. I love man. looking at you. You the look up, in baby. your eyes. Hey, we need it all day today, Spags. I got you, baby. Standing up there and talking to him the night before a Super Bowl game, I leaned on experience that I had had in being in Super Bowl games where we had won, what it meant, how their family would feel. We did it, baby. We did it. It's amazing. And how they would cherish those particular moments forever. They were all glued in. And that just tells you where their minds were going into the game. Andy Reid got things rolling on KC's first possession by creating a mismatch with motion. Mahomes in the gun, waving Kelsey in motion, shotgun snap, drifts back free, cuts his arm, marching spiral pass near side over the shoulder, pitch, touchdown, Travis Kelsey! The purpose of this short motion is it brings Epps, he's the point man, that is a tough matchup. Kelsey runs it out and up. Epps gets a chuck on him on the out motion of it, but Epps just couldn't catch up to it. No third downs that whole drive. Yep. Keep it going, if you want to Stay on it. Let's tighten up, man. We're going to force him to make tough throws. Hey, let's do this. The plan going into the Super Bowl, we felt like we would have no chance if we didn't control the run game. Jalen Hurts on first down has Miles Sanders, 1,000-yard rusher. He trying to look for a seam that's just done there. Strung out and played well by Kansas City. When they did decide to pass, throw the ball when we take, were taking away the run, Jalen, he made some unbelievable throws. Had they not made him, I think the score would have been a little bit different. Long pass, far side. I was sitting here, and I'm saying to myself, well, we're in for a, a dogfight here. Our offense in the first half uh, had struggled against a very good Eagles defense, and we really needed a spark. Come on, D, he has a turnover or something. Hurts by himself in the backfield. He wants to run it. A out of the ball's out. He kicks the ball. It's picked up by Kansas City. They're going to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown! A defensive score! This is a front Coach Spags come up with in the week. We tried to isolate the center on Chris. As good as Kelsey is, we just wanted to try to get that matchup and have them put five blockers on the five down. But they didn't do that. They slid right to Chris and then left Nick free. Nick, he gives Jalen Hurts just enough indecision that it made him move. He dropped the ball and he scoops the ball up. That was huge in the game. Big, big swing. The boost provided by Bolton's score was short-lived. Philadelphia scored on its next two possessions to take a 10-point lead into the break. As bad as it felt, it was a 10-point game. We knew our offense was getting the ball back to begin the half. Got all the trust in the world and Patrick in the offense to get us back within three, and they did that. Touchdown, Kansas City! And so we were off and rolling. Third down and three at the Eagles' five-yard line. Big play. Chiefs are down by six. With a championship at stake, you call your best play. When you're the Chiefs, that will undoubtedly involve motion. Don't do a left 30 XL, 35 black corn dog. 
They're so fun to watch down here in the red zone because they got five receivers in motion, really trying to give that eye candy to this Eagles defense, hoping to catch them off guard. Down by six, receiver in motion. They're going to throw a quick pass to Tony. He's got it on the edge. He will walk into the end zone. Touchdown! The Chiefs have come from a 10-point deficit to take a 28-27 lead. Oh, no. oh, no. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great, dog? Great call. Great call. Great call. And it's an RPO play, uh, run pass option. So what Pat's able to do is get an idea of whether he likes the throw part of it, almost pre-snap. And so that's got to happen quick. Black, 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 black! We had a corner who was playing KT. And so if they think that KT is running from right to left, cross the ball to the other side, then they'll just essentially zone it or pass it off and rock and roll the safeties. It does work if KT continues to go the whole way across. But in this case, we had our shuttle motion. Pab was able to get it out to KT, and there was no one on him for the touchdown, so it worked pretty well. Corndog Shuttle wouldn't have been an option without the hard work of Coach David Girardi and Coach Greg Lewis. Dave and I would go back, we would look at the whole season of that team and figure out what they're doing from a defensive standpoint. Then we would come up with a few uh, new wrinkles here and there uh, to add to something that we had that's not hard, but we think will work, and that was one of them in the red zone. When you start motion, they try to hurry up and get over there and beat you to the side that they believe you're going to. So they do a good job with that. But they did it every time, and they didn't change. We saw Jacksonville against Philly act like you're going to jet across, and then you return back to where you came from and, and go out to the flat. And it worked. So we were like, all right, well, we got something like that in already. Corndog had the same shuttle concept that could outflank the Eagles' defenders but the Chiefs hadn't run it since week one. Despite the lack of use, Girardi and Lewis felt it would still be effective, so they put it up on the beautiful mind board. What did you think when you saw it? Well, I love corn dogs, so I mean, I was all in. <laughs> Just a little mustard, a little ketchup, we're ready to go. Before they were willing to call corn dog in the biggest game of the season, the coaches needed some reassurance first. Earlier in the game, we were head running a jet motion. It was end up being a pass to McKinnon. On tape, we had seen a way that they adjust to their jet where they'll try to spin the safeties. When we had run it, that confirmed it. We knew they were still playing it that way. Hey, like Chad's saying, that wax should be good. Yeah, I know. Yes, with all the jet motions the right now, oh, yeah. jet. The play was nearly a go, but there was one last concern on everyone's mind. The field conditions have been an issue. You'll see players having a hard time keeping their footing. It is a little slippery. I was about to bang it right up there. I slipped. During practice, we were at Arizona State. It was the middle of the afternoon. KT came in running a motion on the corn dog shuttle. He put his foot in the ground and slipped out, legs in the air. And we, it was so bad, we didn't even run it again. We were like, all right, that is so bad. Let's not even worry about that one again. Control, under control. KT did a great job with it, of selling his motion as if he were going across the field, then put it down, didn't slip this time, and, and came out and was wide open. As a coach, when an idea that you put on paper works just like you had it drawn up, it's the best feeling. Okay. They can't handle the slack. They're struggling with it. That, that jet motion's killing them. When KT got open like that, I turned to... Uh, Girardi and said, hey, that, and before I even got it out, I just turned to him and he's like, yep, that's exactly what the tent would look like with the same motion. It was a play call that has answers versus man. We love it versus zone. We felt good it had a chance. And we just both nodded like, all right, well, we got another one. It was a true pass play, not a run option. Shuttle was on that. And it was a first read for the quarterback. If it popped, he could throw it. Having an effective play in your back pocket is a good thing. But what were the odds that the Chiefs would find themselves in a situation where they could use it? Turns out, pretty high. After the longest punt return in Super Bowl history. Tony's at the 40, up the sideline, at the 30, he's at the 20, he's down to the five yard line. Hey, punch it in, punch it in, punch it in. Coach B. Enemy knew exactly what to call. Nine trio left stack. Half shuttle, two jet tip, fever tip, five short pivot. Third down, goal to go. 
28-27, Kansas City. 9.26 to go in the game. Chiefs need to cash in a fast left side, wide open, Sky Moore, touchdown! Kansas City! Did it again. Here's the guy, Sky Moore, wide open. Another blown coverage. Hey, and we're in the wrong formation! I know we were! I know! That's why I want the motion to run. Hey. Well, the funniest thing, we, we lined up wrong. It was Trav that was just in a different spot. We had practiced it with Trav being on the same side as Sky. The formation was wrong, but Pat could see that they were in cover zero, and they were going to play a man technique. It's cover zero! Usually, Pat, because of all the different personnel groups, he just looks to the tight end or where Trav is lined up to then send the receiver nearest Trav in motion. So he started to try to motion KT over. And KT looked at him like, no, 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 you're sending the wrong guy, send, send Sky. Patrick didn't panic. He knew it was a touchdown. He just needed to get one of those guys moving. So he looked to the left, to Sky, as they went to run with the motion. Sky snuck right out in the flat and wide open, and Pat hit him, and we walked in. However you look at it, two really great calls. They ended up working, and the players just completely executed it just with perfection. Clever use of motion put Kansas City in position to win a championship. But great preparation and a team-first mentality helped secure victory. 148 to go. First down and goal to go at the 10 with the game tied at 35. Church mode right now. We're going to run it three straight times. We call it church mode. Basically, you taking a knee like you're in church and praying. It was a situation that we practiced every week. We said go down to the two-yard line and take a knee, stay inbounds, so the clock continues to run, and then we could kick the field goal or whatever we choose to do. Church mode, church mode, church mode. So don't score. Jet was in there because he is the guy that we trusted the most to go out and execute that play. McKinnon on a counter. Left side at the 10. Go down! Angling to the 5, and he's going to slide down at the 1. Very smart inbounds. He did not go into the end zone. The Eagles were trying to let him score, but he did what he was coached to do. It was a selfless play, and that's why I love that dude to death. Bucker is ready. 27-yard field goal that could win the Super Bowl for the Chiefs. Winchester the snap. The hold by Townsend. The kick is away. Good! The Chiefs are champions of Super Bowl 57. I've been blessed. I've been to five Super Bowls. You sit back like a proud pauper, and you're like, that's it. That's the feeling that I remember. <laughs> On top of the... There's nothing like it. There really isn't. And Andy Reid has won two Lombardi trophies. Two time, baby. Two time. Two time. Can't tell us nothing, baby. If he didn't win any Super Bowls, he's a Hall of Fame coach. But to win a second one, that stamps it. To see the elation that he had, it was fantastic. First one was just chaotic. I don't remember much after the game. I think you enjoy the second one a little bit more. It slows down. Love you. Yeah, I love you. Yes, sir. That was amazing. Nice job. That was amazing. The Lions say it didn't put a smile on my face. A lot of people didn't think we were going to be here, and it was kind of cool that it resulted in a Super Bowl win and hoisting another trophy. There's nothing more special uh, than getting to lift a Lombardi trophy. I'm so thankful to Andy and his staff for making that possible again. To be able to be a part of that staff, I'm just thankful. We care about each other. There's a lot of love within this building. It starts at the top with Coach Reed. And when you have that man combined with talent, you can win, some, you can win a bunch of games.